from the final integration facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Thursday on its uh, two and a half mile journey uh, in the summer environment at the Baikonur Cosmodrome to its launch pad where it was uh, hoisted vertically and uh, the gantry arms swung closed around uh, the progress vehicle uh, to uh, begin the final preparations by launch pad technicians leading to the launch that is now just 12 and a half minutes away and now you're back live to a view of the uh, Soyuz booster and the progress resupply craft that is mounted on top of that booster rocket. It will be almost a nine minute transit from the launch pad to its preliminary orbit, uh, an expedited four-orbit journey uh, for the uh, progress vehicle for a single-day launch to docking to the pier's docking compartment. The uh, pier's uh, was vacated on Thursday when the 50 progress vehicle that had been mated uh, to the uh, pier's uh, since February undocked. Here's video of that undocking that occurred on Thursday afternoon U.S. time in the wee hours of Friday in Moscow. Uh, the uh, commands were sent to open the hooks and latches and the 50 Progress vehicle backed away uh, to begin a slow separation away from uh, the International Space Station uh, where it uh, eventually was commanded uh, to deorbit. Again, this is video from uh, Thursday uh, in which uh, the Progress 50 supply craft that arrived uh, with uh, almost three tons of supplies for the International Space Station crew uh, backed away from uh, the pier's docking compartment and uh, moved to a safe distance away for a series of uh, burns that ultimately resulted in its deorbit and a fiery uh, demise over the Pacific Ocean. It was loaded with trash at the time. So that opened up the pier's docking compartment uh, for the arrival uh, later tonight uh, Sunday morning in Moscow of the uh, Progress 52 cargo craft that is loaded with 1,212 pounds of propellant, 42 pounds of oxygen, 62 pounds of air, 926 pounds of water, and 3,395 pounds of dry cargo, including maintenance equipment, resupply items, life support system items, and experiment equipment for the six crew members of the International Space Station. Amongst uh, the late uh, stowage items uh, that arrived in Baikonur the other day uh, were uh, a series of small modicum of supplies uh, for EVA uh, troubleshooting and repair work on uh, one of the suits uh, that was worn by Luca Parmitano during the most recent U.S. EVA uh, back on uh, July 16th that was terminated early after just an hour and 34 minutes when um, water it began to intrude into Luca Parmitano's helmet. Uh, the uh, spacewalk was terminated early and uh, the crew uh, returned, he and Chris Cassidy returned uh, to the safety of the uh, Quest airlock. Uh, the uh, investigation uh, is ongoing. Troubleshooting is ongoing uh, by uh, spacewalking experts here at Mission Control in Houston to try to isolate the exact cause of that water uh, intrusion into Luca Parmitano's helmet that cut short the July 16th spacewalk uh, that he and Chris Cassidy had embarked on. Again, you're looking at uh, the launch pad at Site 1 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where the Progress 52 resupply craft is mounted on top of its Soyuz booster. We are about eight and a half minutes away from liftoff. At the time of launch, uh, the International Space Station uh, will be uh, over southern Russia near the Kazakh-Mongolian border, orbiting at an altitude of 259 statute miles. The uh, International Space Station will pass directly over the Baikonur Cosmodrome four minutes before launch in a message uplinked uh, to the uh, 
uh, Expedition 36 crew on board the International Space Station. Uh, the message uh, instructed the crew as to where they might uh, be able to see uh, the plume uh, as the light uh, from the uh, main engines of the Soyuz booster rocket ignite and uh, the plume of the Soyuz booster as it ascends uh, to the northeast and an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Uh, they uh, may have an opportunity to see uh, the plume of the Soyuz booster as it uh, begins its climb and chase to catch up to the International Space Station out of the windows of the cupola on the International Space Station. The Expedition uh, 36 crew led by uh, Station Commander Pavel Vinogradov uh, took a midday nap. They are up uh, and in good shape, uh, all set uh, for uh, the arrival later tonight and the docking of the uh, progress uh, to the uh, Piers docking compartment with docking scheduled at 9.26 p.m. Central Time. Our coverage uh, will resume at that uh, point uh, at 8.45 p.m. Central Time tonight, all the way through to docking and the uh, latching uh, of the uh, latches uh, to form a hard mate between uh, the progress and the Piers docking compartment. Plans call for the space station crew to open the hatch uh, to uh, the newly arrived Progress vehicle on Sunday to begin unloading almost uh, 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies that are loaded in the resupply craft. We are just six minutes away from launch. Uh, the uh, launch uh, is timed uh, precisely at the point where the Earth's rotation will carry uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome into the plane of the space station's orbit. This expedited uh, four-orbit, uh, six-hour uh, transit by uh, the progress to the International Space Station will result in an automated docking uh, to the Piers docking compartment at 9.26 uh, p.m. Central Time this evening. The uh, gyros on the Soyuz booster rocket have been placed in flight readiness. Uh, flight recorders have been activated. All of the uh, launch countdown operations have gone into automated mode. At the uh, T-minus uh, three minute mark, there'll be a drain back of uh, excess propellant uh, out of the Soyuz booster. And uh, the booster uh, propellant tank uh, will be pressurized at the 2 minute 45 second mark before launch. The International Space Station and its six crew members are currently flying uh, directly over the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Again, at the time of liftoff, uh, the International Space Station will be over southern Russia, just beyond the uh, adjoining border between Kazakhstan and Mongolia. Flight controllers at uh, the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside Moscow confirm uh, that all flight recorders have now been activated. Inside four minutes until the launch of the Progress resupply vehicle, to the International Space Station. About two minutes from now, the uh, ground propellant feed uh, at the launch pad at Site 1 there at the Baikonur Cosmodrome will be terminated. This is the same launch pad that uh, 
almost all manned Soyuz vehicles are launched from. The Progress uh, spacecraft mounted on top of this Soyuz booster, all set to begin its expedited journey to the International Space Station. Propellant drain back uh, is now uh, in progress. Uh, this will enable the Soyuz booster to have the correct amount of propellant for its almost nine minute uh, transit to its preliminary orbit and uh, to the point at which it will uh, deposit the Progress spacecraft en route to the International Space Station. The uh, Soyuz booster will be launching into a narrow phase angle of 34 degrees, uh, a very tight corridor, uh, putting it on the correct highway uh, for this single-day launch to docking operation. Coming up on the two-minute mark before launch. The pressurization of the uh, booster's propellant tanks underway. We'll be coming up shortly on the termination of the ground propellant feed. The vehicle will be placed on internal power. One minute, 20 seconds until launch. The Soyuz booster now on internal power inside one minute. There's the uh, retraction of the first umbilical coming up on the 30-second mark until launch. Fifteen seconds until launch. Engine start has begun. Launch command has been issued. And liftoff. Liftoff of the ISS Progress 52 cargo craft on an expedited journey of four orbits to the International Space Station. Pitch and roll program is initiated. All parameters are looking good. First and second stage boosters are reported operating normally. 37 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz booster and the Progress resupply craft arcing out to the northeast. One minute into the flight, everything looking good. The four strap-on boosters uh, will separate within the next minute. All reports are good. Progress resupply craft heading in the fast lane to the International Space Station. All of the uh, Soyuz booster parameters are operating normally. Yeah, 
the Soyuz booster, and the Progress 52 cargo craft arcing out to the northeast in excellent shape. Coming up on the two minute mark, And there's first stage burnout. First stage separation confirmed at an altitude of 49 kilometers, 118 kilometers downrange, 1.76 kilometers per second for our velocity. Launch shroud jettison has been confirmed. All structural parameters are normal as the Soyuz uh, booster and the Progress 52 cargo craft head on the fast track to the International Space Station. The jettisoning of the launch route occurring uh, at an altitude of 84 kilometers. The Soyuz booster now uh, 165 kilometers downrange. The vehicle is reported to be in stable condition. All launch parameters are normal according to flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside Moscow. Second stage engines on the uh, Soyuz booster operating perfectly. Liftoff occurring at uh, 3.45 and 8 seconds p.m. Central Time. Here is a um, schematic that shows you the launch profile for a Progress vehicle. And a view uh, from a balcony camera at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Now uh, four minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Roll, pitch, and yaw all reported to be normal. All structural parameters reported to be in great shape from the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. We should have the uh, shutdown and separation of the second stage of the Soyuz booster in about five seconds or so. And second stage separation has been confirmed. That occurring at an altitude of 167 kilometers. The uh, Soyuz booster and the Progress resupply craft now 288 kilometers downrange. Speeding toward the International Space Station right now at a rate of almost four kilometers per second. The third stage engines on the Soyuz booster are up and running in great shape, according to reports from the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. Six minutes into the flight of the uh, Progress 52 resupply craft to the International Space Station, everything proceeding by the book, no problems encountered so far by the Progress or its Soyuz booster. The third stage engines are operating by the book. The next major milestone will be the shutdown of those engines at the 8 minute 45 second mark. That will occur about two minutes from now.
We have not heard from the crew on the International Space Station, but uh, they were uh, prepared to be watching any plume from the launch out of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan through uh, the cupola as they await uh, the arrival of almost three tons of supplies later this evening. And there is a good view uh, of the open windows on the cupola as the International Space Station passes just uh, beyond uh, the east coast of China, out over the Pacific Ocean, moving from northwest to southeast. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, all uh, structural parameters reported to be functioning normally. Soyuz booster uh, aiming straight and true toward the International Space Station. We're about uh, one minute away from the shutdown of the third stage engines, the third stage separation, and the uh, orbital insertion of the Progress resupply vehicle. All flight control system parameters reported uh, to be functioning perfectly in reports being received uh, from the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. After third stage shutdown and the separation of the uh, third stage of the Soyuz booster, We'll be standing by for confirmation of the deployment of the antennas and solar arrays. Standing by now for third stage shutdown. And we have a confirmation of third stage shutdown and separation. Next on the docket, the deployment of the antennas and the solar arrays that are in the process of deploying. And we now have confirmation of the deployment of the solar arrays on the Progress Resupply Craft all of the antennas and solar arrays are now deployed normally as the progress begins its expedited journey to the International Space Station and an automated docking this evening at 9.26 p.m. Central Time. The launch uh, and climb to orbit uh, all perfectly conducted. Uh, the launch occurring at uh, 3.45 and 8 seconds p.m. Central Time. Uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. It was 2.45 in the morning in uh, the Kazakh uh, steppe uh, when the uh, Soyuz booster ignited and launched, sending uh, the Progress uh, on its way uh, to deliver almost three tons of supplies to the six crew members on board the International Space Station. Once again, a view from a balcony camera overlooking the uh, expansive flight control room uh, at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, just outside of Moscow, as uh, those flight controllers uh, now take over uh, for the uh, remainder of the Progress's uh, fast-track journey to the International Space Station that will culminate uh, with a link-up to the pier's docking compartment at 9.26 p.m. Central Time this evening. everything to go per nominal plan. Excellent news. And you go to start configuring. Okay. 
Okay. Let me just get a different headset on. Okay, sure. Flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Uh, you're looking at that uh, flight control room in your view. Gotcha. Are uh, beginning uh, to uh, look at all of the parameters of the Progress spacecraft as it begins its automated uh, journey for a link up to the International Space Station about uh, five and a half hours from now. 4 and 14 is here, confirming. Only the form was uplinked today. That's right. All the other radiograms I already told you about yesterday. We got about 15, maybe 20 of them yesterday. Okay, there was a lot of them. Only four forms should have been uplinked today. Copy. So we already have them physically available. So as far as today, Let's go ahead and verify four and fourteen. Yeah, that's Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Four and fourteen verification in progress. This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, uh, the Progress 52 cargo craft filled with 2.8 tons of supplies for the Expedition 36 crew on board the International Space Station launched uh, on time at 3.45 and 8 seconds p.m. Central Time. At that moment, uh, the International Space Station was flying over southern Russia near the uh, Kazakh-Mongolian border. The uh, Almost nine-minute climb to orbit was uneventful. At uh, the time of third stage shutdown and separation of the Soyuz booster, uh, the progress uh, began uh, the process of deploying its uh, solar arrays and all of its navigational antennas. All of that uh, went uh, fine, no problems encountered whatsoever. And uh, as the International Space Station flies 260 statute miles over the uh, northwest Pacific Ocean, about to begin a northwest to southeasterly swing across the Pacific, uh, we will wrap up our coverage and uh, let you know that uh, we're going to be returning in a few hours at 8.45 p.m. Central Time, 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time with our docking coverage as uh, the 52 Progress uh, resupply craft uh, approaches the International Space Station for an automated link-up to the pier's docking compartment. So with that, uh, we'll uh, wrap up our launch coverage. Everything went by the book, the Progress 52 resupply craft en route to the International Space Station. For now, we'll see you back in a few hours at 8.45 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.